Hey everyone, Irit here and this is the first installment in my series of gift guides for the upcoming holiday season. So if you find yourself enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I'm posting a new video. So I'm gonna start today with books and the next videos in the series will be focused on, one will be about um, gift guide for the watercolor artists in your life and then I'll do an art journaling one and then I hope to do a series about my favorite products and um, recommended supplies for beginners. I thought it also about doing like a studio essentials type of thing so if you have any ideas, requests, uh, leave me a comment below. Also today, as I said, we'll be talking about some great art books and please leave in the comments your favorites so that the people watching this video can also scroll down and get some more great recommendations. So let's get started. Art books to me are a wonderful gift. They are relatively affordable and they can offer you know, so much happiness and inspiration. So I'll start with the Jean Haynes books. Now, as far as I'm aware, I think she has five and I think she's working on a sixth book. I have four of her books. The one that I don't have is Atmospheric Flowers, which I'm interested to add to my collection at some point. But what I've come to realize, I've been reading um, her books lately in the last month or so and I came to realize that um, even though you know obviously they have like different titles and the content is different there is no repetition of you know specific tutorials or something like that I find myself having difficulty really um, verbalizing or just I don't really see the difference that's my personal opinion between each book so it's kind of the same thing again and again now i'm not saying that as a bad thing because i find her books and uh, tutorials very inspirational she's a master of her art and i am heavily influenced by her style but if you're asking me you know should i get this book or the other one I really find them very comparable, probably with the exception of this one, Paint Yourself Calm, which I would say is, it's not that it's a, a, a bad book, not at all, but I think it's a little bit different from her other three books that I have. And I feel it has less meat when it comes to uh, techniques. So I think maybe this would appeal more to beginners, people starting with watercolors um, because the exercises are a little bit like looser and not as challenging as the ones in her other books. So probably, yeah, I think this one is my least favorite from her books. Now, Currently, my most favorite is probably this one, Atmospheric Watercolors. This came out in 2012, I want to say. And I feel this has like a lot of the good stuff. Um, great, very detailed, and I would say probably a little bit more complex step-by-step um, -step tutorials. Um, I guess frustration factor in this book is also pretty up there because, you know, reading a Jean Haynes book won't make you uh, paint like Jean Haynes, but um, I definitely, I'm now in the last pages of this book and I really, really enjoyed it. And then the other two are also great. This one is a new edition of, I think, her first book and this one is also fantastic. I think these two are my favorites. Um, you can't really go wrong with any of them. Probably, as I said, the Paint Yourself Calm is my least favorite. And this one is also really beautiful. Even though, you know, there's a bird here and 
what is there here? Um, the horseback riders. And then here there's the rooster. There's a variety of demos and subjects in all of her books from flowers to landscape or like cityscape. So don't think that just because, you know, there's a bird on the cover, it's only about birds. Not at all. There's like flowers and just a, a really large variety. I mean, just looking at her artwork. I love this style. So if you are into if you, if you or the person you're gifting uh, this book, if you're into that kind of like loose, um, you know, atmospheric watercolors, you can't go wrong with Jean Haynes. That's like at the top of my list. And yeah, she's just amazing. Moving on to some color theory. The two books that I have here are really, really interesting reads. And I learned a lot from both of them. Uh, so the first one is Color Choices, Making Color Sense Out of Color Theory by Stephen Quiller. And this is an amazing book. Um, these work for any type of medium. So if you're gifting a person who does uh, acrylics or oil, that would work well. They do a lot of watercolors in both of these. So that's the type of... Um, inspiration work that I enjoy the most, but this would definitely work for any other medium. The Jean Haynes is for watercolor artists. So between these two books, if I had to pick one, I would pick the color choices. And especially for beginners, I think even though it is packed with content, I think it's a bit easier to follow than this one. And I learned a lot about color theory, about color choices from this book, and I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's a really great book for any kind of artist. Now, this book from um, Jean Doby, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I also, what I like about this is that she works with a more limited color palette than Stephen Quiller and I think for some people that will be a bit easier to follow if you get overwhelmed by, you know, opening a book and the artist there is using like 20 colors that you're not familiar with and you don't know, you don't have them, then sometimes it's a little bit, I don't know, frustrating or kind of deflating because you want all the supplies that that artist has, even though you really don't need to. But if you're like me, you still want it all. So. <laughs> So she has a bit uh, a more limited color palette, but this book is really, really heavy on the techniques and tips. I found it myself challenging to, you know, just sit and read it. I feel like it's the type of book that, you know, you need to read an episode, like a chapter, go and paint and work on that, come back and that's come back to the book read another chapter, go and work on that. And that's just not really the way that I personally enjoy um, reading my art books. So for that reason, I just found this. It's an excellent book, excellent reference. I highly recommend it, but just take that under consideration. It's not the kind of book that you can, you know, sit around and read like 20 pages and feel inspired. It's kind of, you read 20 pages and you're like, wow, that's a lot of information. <laughs> Okay, my next category is eye candy books for the lovers of mixed media and art supplies. And these are actually the newer books of two wonderful artists. And um, I have also their first books. So I think for both of them, these are like their second publications. But I wanted to put these because they are newer and therefore may be more exciting and the person you're buying this for is less likely to have them, maybe. Uh, but the first ones are also good. So the first book is Fabulous Figures from Jane Davenport. Uh, this is definitely more mixed media, even though in this book she uses a lot of watercolors, which is fantastic for me because that's the type of uh, medium that I enjoy the most. And I would say with both of these books, it's more eye candy and high level of frustration if you try to follow their um, tutorials. That's my personal experience. So 
that's you know what I'm telling you here um, the cute thing about the Jane Davenport book is that it comes with the hearts she has a whole system of teaching how to um, how to draw figures and it comes with these like hearts so that's really cute and then there are stickers here so I think this would be a really great present for an art journalist in your world and anyone who's into watercolors more probably less of the like purist classical you know watercolor landscape that type of thing more whimsical um, figure drawing sketchy mixed media art journaling type of art <laughs> so it is a beautiful book Jane Davenport's art is really inspiring very whimsical very fun to look at um, beware because you want to buy all the art supplies she uses and she uses a lot of them so yeah and then the next book is The Art of Creative Watercolors by Daniel Donaldson. I think this book would really appeal to people who are into uh, whimsical art, illustrations, um, combining pattern paper and fabrics and that sort of thing into their art and working in this kind of light, colorful watercolors she does that beautifully and it's a really fun book to look through the artwork is just gorgeous it's it's just it's such an eye candy book the same like jane davenport it's just like just look through it and you know appreciate the beauty of watercolors and be happy <laughs> and go about your day without <laughs> attempting <laughs> to be jane davenport or daniel donaldson my next recommendation is a bit of a wild card. It's uh, actually a urban sketching book and this is it. It's called Urban Watercolor Sketching. The writer is uh, Felix Scheinberger. Uh, I think he's German. Uh, this is in English. This book makes me happy. It's very different in style to the other ones I've shown you and it is I would say um, a more like an inspiration book. It doesn't have step-by-step -step tutorials, but he talks a lot about color choices and some techniques. And I find the artwork very appealing. Some of it might be not the type of style that speaks to everyone. I wouldn't say this is like as elegant. Um, it's more kind of in your face and um, I wouldn't call it uh, vulgar but it's just you know I would say it's less like pretty pretty and <laughs> I find it really interesting and enjoyable I think maybe for an artsy teenager I think um, th this book might appeal to them or if you know a rebel without a cause or <laughs> I don't know it's just a little bit more of an edgy book I feel where the other ones that I've talked about till now are kind of more classical um, work for every age group from 8 to 80 I would probably say so this is just yeah it's yeah I would probably say for a teenager I think this would be a great choice because it really feels kind of cool and I I feel old as I'm saying this <laughs> but um, yeah for the teenager in your life consider this okay last but not least sorry this is getting very long but I wanted to show you all these great options I have two really interesting uh, books and I'll start with this one this one is called watercolor with me and it is written by Dana Fox, Watercolor With Me in the Forest. Uh, this is a very unique book in the way that it is printed. And every page has a tutorial. So you have the full instructions here with the finished pro project and the colors recommended. It's usually just 
three colors, maybe four. And then on this side, you have the sketch of this project. So, and the paper is nice uh, quality. It works really well with the techniques in this book. Um, these are not like super heavy fluid application of watercolors. And for that, it works really well. And you can, when you're done, you can just remove the pages of the sketches and frame them if you want. I think this book would be a fantastic present for, again, for a teenager who is kind of into watercolors. I would say the project here, you know, very far from the other book, it's very, I would say almost like romantic, cute things. You know, you have a fawn, you have um, all kinds of like woodland creatures. Um, you learn how to get the texture of like different, you know, fur or what is this? I think this is fur. There's a raccoon. So really, really cute book. You don't have the pressure of having to draw or sketch yourself. You can really focus on the watercolors. The instructions are very specific. You have the colors right there for you. For the hesitant, <laughs> somewhat timid um, artist within, in your world, I think this is a really great option. Um, this to, I did today in like five minutes. This is the feathers tutorial and I just followed the instructions. Super easy. I think really satisfying. You can really focus on just playing with watercolors, learning techniques and yeah, I think this is a fantastic concept. And my last book, I spoke about this I don't know if I spoke about it on my channel or on YouTube. So first of all, this is this book is in German and I don't think there's an English version of it. However, I don't really think you need to know German to enjoy this book, but you know, that's just my opinion. I do understand German, so um, I definitely can read this, but this is about um, if you want to learn or if you want to give this to someone who's interested in learning how to paint florals and watercolor, I think this is a fantastic book. Now, true that when I bought this book and um, tried out the techniques in it and the tutorials, I wasn't a beginner, far from it, but I also found it really easy to follow and I thought the results were very fast and very satisfying. So. Um, I have to recommend this book. Now you also get access, when you buy this book, you get access to um, a bunch of tutorials, like video tutorials on um, the internet, showing you how to create several of the projects in this book. So I think that is definitely added value to this. And this has, I really like the way it's built. It has, you know, it starts with, some basic um, basic techniques and theory in watercolors, nothing too heavy, nothing too complicated. You can really go through it rather fast. And then it goes for the step-by-step -step tutorials on, you know, a single flower or a single branch. Then it goes to more complicated or layered projects, for example, like this heart, which I feel like if you follow this book, wouldn't be hard to follow. And then what I really liked about it is that it has the Floale Bibliothèque, so like a, a library of just different images you can be inspired by, try to copy, and just get lots of ideas so you kind of don't need to think about different types of flowers or leaves if you're creating your own patterns. And I just really, really enjoyed this book. So if you are into painting flowers with watercolors and you either speak German or you don't mind not being able to read it, <laughs> I think this book is beautiful. Super long. I have links to everything I talked about in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.